Welcome everyone, Alien Week kicked off this Thursday, June 15. We're gonna go through the alien ships that are worth buying. And with me uh, is Pigeon, who is one of the best pilots in the game. Hello. Okay. Hello. Let's get right into it. So, here we have the Talon. As you can see, it is 115 US dollars. Um, in game, it costs 1.8 million. It comes with two size three missile hardpoints, which means you can carry up to two size three missiles. And then for weapon hardpoints, you have two size three or two size four weapon hardpoints and two size one shields. Um, so it has the same shields as the Gladius, if you guys are familiar with that. It has bigger guns, but it has one less gun. Um, and it has less missiles. Uh, for its accelerations and its Gs, it's higher than the Gladius. It has a 224.4G tricord, um, which for comparison, the Gladius is 22.3 and the Arrow is 21.8. Um, so it's an agile fighter, uh, has less damage than the uh, air quotes, the meta fighters, but I think this is truly the best atmosphere fighter it flies like nothing else in atmosphere i think the closest thing that comes to it is the fury but the fury doesn't have a quantum drive so yes i think talon is the best atmosphere fighter um i recommend getting this if you do not have one one thing i'm gonna mention is um like why do people not use it so much uh it's because once you lose a wing that's basically it uh, you cannot do anything else in game, like you have to self-destruct uh, because your ship is not going to be able to fly. That, that's the only downside of the Talon and that's why a lot of people don't use it. Also the fuel, it runs out of fuel. We have some people in some tournaments run out of fuel uh, with using the <laughs> ship. Uh, so that's the only, I will say, that's two of the downsides the wings like once you lose the wing and the fuel um but this is a really fun ship uh, i like the cockpit view um it's really really unique and cool yes so that is two limitations it has um the wing can easily break off and then you're better off just ejecting not even trying um and then the fuel it is really bad on it. Um, but yeah. Let's go to the Shrike. Shrike is literally the same ship. Um, except having the two size 4 weapons. You have two size 3 weapons. Which, um, yeah, it's not very good. Um, but you do get 24 size 3 missiles. Uh, which some of you, I know, love your missiles. But uh, mm. they currently do not work they're very hit or miss in the pu either the missiles don't work or the missiles hit you every time i don't know it's always 50 50 yeah. i find um but it is more expensive in game if you buy it compared to the talon it is two million and two hundred fifty thousand. um yeah all right the next ship the Blade, another meta fighter in my opinion. Um, its DPS is higher than the Gladius, has the same shields as the Gladius. Uh, it has higher Gs than the Gladius. Um, but the only downside is its HP actually is lower than the Gladius. So once your shields are down, you will die a lot faster in the Blade compared to being in the Gladius. And for comparison, the Blade pulls 24.9 Gs, and the Gladius pulls 22.3, as I said before. In-game, it costs 3.3 million to buy. Mm -hmm. You have eight size one missiles. Oh, and the weapons, they're good, um, but you can't change them for anything else. Like, they're fixed. Uh, they're locked for that ship. Um, it is also really good in atmosphere. Uh, I think that, yeah, the Talon is better than the Blade. But it's still, it's better than the Arrow and it's better than the Gladius. Um, okay. So if you have it, I would take the Blade into Atmosphere over a Gladius and an uh, Arrow any day. 
Yeah, Blade has been one of my favorite ships to fly in that mode. Um, the the downside, um, well, uh, we forgot to mention, but the, I think the Talon is worth the price. It's not that expensive. Uh, I feel like this price is also not bad um, because a lot of people use it. I use it all the time. I use my Blade. Uh, I like flying it in that mode. Uh, what is bad is that the cockpit doesn't have a lot of vision, so sometimes it's uh, a bit hard to see everything. But if you have eye tracker, uh, like maybe that helps. Yeah, and another thing that some people complain about is the red HUD. You can't see how damaged your ship is or uh, the ship you're attacking either. You can't see how red it is. You can, like if you really look, you can tell, but it is you definitely have to think twice when looking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the price is also a big thing to look at. The Gladius is what ninety dollars for the normal, a hundred for the pirate. That's almost three times as much the price. So something to think about. I think it's worth it. Um, it is, like I said, one of the best fighters. So is a Talon. Um, all right, let's get into the Banu Defender. So the Banu Defender, as you can see, is two hundred and twenty. Uh, in game, it is almost three million to buy um, but you get four size three weapons you get these amount of missiles too and you get a size two shield so like a cutty or a scorpius or a hurricane um this is actually very good i think for jump town because uh, you have some cargo space it is really good in atmosphere as well mm -hmm. um a lot of people forget that this has a lot of quantum fuel. So you oh. can get away with putting the VK0, um, if I remember correctly, the fastest quantum drive in the game, and pretty much go anywhere with that quantum drive in oh. the Banu. Nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it has good firepower equivalent to a Saber, good in atmosphere like the Saber. Uh, you just get some cargo space for Jump Town. Um, Anything to add, Gabby? Nope. It looks really cool inside. <laughs> okay, yeah. And it does pull more Gs than the the Gladius as well. Uh, it pulls 23.3. Uh, like, one G more than the Gladius, but hey, if we're nitpicking things, well, there you go. Oh, uh, doesn't it have a bed? Oh, yeah, it does. You can't bed log in it, yeah. Yeah, because, <laughs> because um, I remember seeing some people use it at jump down and like they will just swap servers, they will bedlock and try to switch servers to try to find active jump down servers, you know? So mm -hmm. I feel like that's really good too, for example, for uh, Ghost Hollow, that is a really popular mission right now. Um, like, it's kind of like jump down where like... Uh, you go to a terminal and you get UEC and you have to defend it from FPS uh, people, from ships. Um, so I think for doing that and swapping servers and trying to find like uh, either an active or inactive server, depending what type of gameplay you like, uh, I feel like that's really useful. Yeah. Yep, I agree. I personally don't own it, but... I do mm -hmm. buy one every time in game, just because I like it. Um, the cockpit view is very cool. It's a very unique. It's a unique ship. There's mm -hmm. nothing really like it. Um, either like it or hate it. All right, let's go to the Glaive. <laughs> As you can see, this will break the bank. Three hundred fifty dollars for the Glaive. Um, but there's a but. Mm -hmm. I think this is better than an Ion. Um, oh? For two reasons. The burst DPS is higher than the Ion. The Glaive's DPS, burst DPS, is at 4,172 versus the Ion's burst damage of 3,850. Um, which may not sound like a lot. Um, it really isn't. But um, So that's one thing. It's burst DPS is higher. The ions sustained is higher though, because it has more capacitor. Um, but the other thing is, it pulls 28.8 Gs. Oh, damn. 
So almost comparable to a car to all, which we'll get to next. Um, so that's a lot, especially for a high, heavy fighter. Mm -hmm. Even though it's interesting, I thought it was classified as a medium, but I think they swapped it to a heavy. I guess that's weird. It still says medium. I could have sworn it was a heavy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's still really high for a medium fighter. Yeah. Um, I feel like a lot of people are underestimating it because I don't see a lot of people use this one. Oh, yeah. And when you do, it's usually someone experienced. Mm -hmm. And then you just get smacked by it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. You can't buy it in game, unfortunately. Um, and you can't change the weapons like uh, the blade. You can't. Uh, they're fixed, but you get two size five plasma cannons and then you get two size one laser cannons but um those laser cannons have repeater speed um the cannon part is misleading and the blade it says that as well but yeah that is it mm -hmm. um i think it's very unique though i like the look and these this part of the wing actually can function as a ram uh but uh, i don't think excuse there's really me? a what what did you say? Yeah, you can you can <laughs> ram ships with this. What? Like what did I? No, I'm not hearing this correctly, right? <laughs> yeah, you can ram the ships, but I found it. You know, it's not very consistent. I find myself losing my gun a lot of the times. <laughs> um, but theoretically, you can ram a ship and get a kill with it. Oh. Um, without <laughs> causing damage to your own ship. Yes. All right, now I go to the car to all. The favorite. Of yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hundred seventy dollars. Uh, so worth most... it. Yes, it pulls the most G's out of any ship at thirty-three point four G's. Um, but the downside, as you can see, it has quite a big view when shooting from the front. Cross section's pretty big. Uh, very easy to be shot. Downside, sure. But you can really whip around your target if you know what you're doing and get in their blind spot. Maybe use your boost, get shields back, but that's for really advanced people. Um, and same as Talon. Yeah, it's kind of weak yes, yes. when you lose a wing, a little wing. Yes. You lose a thruster, you start spitting, and it's game over. Uh, so don't lose your shield in the Talon or car to all. <laughs> um, the firepower is the same as a Talon, so it's not the best. Uh, you will get out DPS by Gladius and Arrow and the Blade. Mm, but it will chase people very, very well. It's uh, In the car too, you mean? Yes, yes, in the car too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people use this. They use all the ships I've talked about. Um, the Talon, the Blade, and the Car 2 mainly. Mm -hmm. We see it all the time. So, yeah, you can buy it in game though for 2 million. And yeah, it has the same shields as Gladius. So, there's yeah. that. A lot, oh, and so does the Blade. A lot of PvPers are using it right now because it's, it's super fast and. It works really well, especially in this flight meta. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I think the price is worth it. Uh, especially since so many people are flying it. Um, they have been flying it since 3.17, I think. Uh, I have seen it a lot, a lot. Like, all the time people are just flying this. So, um, I think the price is worth it. Yes, I agree. At least until they nerf it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then you can melt it and go for the next ship. <laughs> yes. It's very fun to fly. I enjoy flying this. It's my PU fighter a lot of the time. All right. The Banu Merchantman. Yes. So this one I'm going to let you kind of talk about because I don't really know much about it. Okay, so this has been uh, in the works for, what, six years, uh, I think. Um, we watched a video um, last year, I think. Oh, God, I should have done my research. <laughs> I 
But um, we watch their progress, like uh, what they are working on. Uh, like they showed some of the rooms in that video. There was an inside Star Citizen just for the Banu and the BMM. And I mean, I I have one. Um, the main price it started selling at two fifty, and and now like each year it has been increasing the price, uh, and now the price is six fifty. Which I think it's still worth it. Like, it's not as bad as the 890, for example. I feel like this is gonna look way better than the 890. And yeah, I mean, we have the 890 right now. We can fly it, we can use it. But I feel like the BMM is gonna completely destroy it once it's out. Suntiem, <coughs> am I right? Uh, maybe this year, <laughs> this year, right? Um, but I feel like it, this is gonna completely destroy the A90, which, yeah, I think they have different purposes. Uh, I think this is more transport. Um, but, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna use it for my parties, you know, for my drinking parties, my ladies' night parties. Uh, I think I'm gonna be using the BMM because it just looks really, really good and I really like it. So I think it's worth picking up right now before the price increases again. Because when it's out, guys, woo, it's gonna be like a thousand. Like, I, I already see it. So I think it's still worth. It's really sexy. Um, there's a lot of uh, concept pictures and yeah, I think it's 100% worth. Um, I, I just want it right now, but I will keep waiting with tears in my eyes, but I'm still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we can move on. <laughs> okay. Next ship is the Nox. Well, it's not really a ship. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a grab lev bike. Um, this is actually the only thing I do not recommend buying. Uh, simply because it only costs 300000 in-game to purchase. Um, but it is the fastest gravel bike. Um, but if you like racing, go ahead and pick it up. 45 bucks. Um, I haven't used it in a long time, but it is fun every now and then to bring it out and drive around. Mm -hmm. So, anything to say? Mm, no. Okay. Let's go to the Prowler. Now this one is kind of yikes. Oof. In my opinion. Not um, worth the price. 440. Um, at one point, this was really, really good. It was really good. Um, its aesthetics is definitely nice. Uh, I like the look of the ship a lot. Kind of like the Talon. Um, it's very nice. Fortunately, at steep price at 440, um, and then we'll get into issue here um, shortly. But if you want it in game, it is 4.2 million in game, and the guns you get two size five weapon hard points, and a turret with two size three guns, um, and then you get two size two shields, of course. Uh, but the problem is the turret currently has a bug where the turret controls the pilot guns and the pilot controls the turret. So as soon as someone gets in the turret seat, um, there's a bug where it swaps the weapons for some reason. Why? I don't know. Has it been fixed? Absolutely not. Um, and I feel like over the years, they've nerfed its maneuverability. Um, I haven't flown it in a while, but flying it the other day, it felt like it flies like a redeemer. <laughs> um Oof. And yeah, it's a drop ship, but like, I, I don't know, it, that does not feel right. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not that big of a ship, it's a drop ship. Mm -hmm. And I think its design is to be an agile, kind of stealthy ship, so I don't mm -hmm. really understand what's going on with this ship. Yeah, um, My ex yeah. I only had one experience with this ship, and we were trying to arrive to jump down. And the Prowler was trying to drop us at jump down, and we just uh, instantly exploded before <laughs> even being able to to walk out of the ship. But I mean, that's a skill issue. <laughs> yeah, Star Citizen skill issue moment for sure. Yeah, so I haven't tried it since then. 
<laughs> yes. But I, I think I, one... Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. You go ahead. Uh, I don't think it's worth the price because this is almost the same as the BMM, and the BMM is gonna be like huge. It's like you you cannot compare these two ships. Like it's only the BMM. It's only two hundred more, um, and I just uh, the Prowler is so so overpriced. I think. Don't quote me on this, but I think the Prowler will fit in the hangar of the BMM. No. True. I, I mean, but, yeah, the BMM hangar yeah, is gonna um, be huge. Um, so yeah. I think the only thing this thing has going for it is how it looks, so... Mm -hmm. Let's go to the Rylan. Um... <laughs> really cute, it, it looks like a, like a star, like a little diamond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I believe that's the cargo back there. The little triangles for some reason um yeah interesting <laughs> uh it's definitely unique uh there's nothing like it mm -hmm. um well i think it's only 300 something scu so like i don't know if you really want it you know it's i feel like it's an acquired taste kind of thing mm -hmm. um i'm not in that whole cargo hauling scene anymore used to be so <laughs> I don't know. I don't have too much to say on this one. It's cool. I like the design. It'll be interesting for sure when it's implemented in the game. Yeah, um, it's cute. Um, I will prefer to get a talon or a blade for that price. Um, I mean, it's, for sure. it's a little cute thing. But yeah, definitely <laughs> blade, talon, and Garthu are, are way better. But it, ser yes. it serves different purposes, of course. So, yeah. Alright, now the Santokiai. Santokiai. Yes, I'm sure everyone's seen uh, the Inside Star Citizen on it, and it came out, what, a few days ago? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty good. I don't know. We'll see when we have our hands on it. You got four size three um, weapons, you have four size three missile hardpoints, and you have one size two shield. Uh, and for $220, I don't, you know, I'm going to say, I think that might be a pretty decent value. Does it have um, a turret? It does? No, it does not. Oh, it doesn't. No, oh. no it's all pilot control weapons. Hmm. Um, I, I really like the design of it. I, I don't think this picture does justice for it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they use this. Uh, but I really like the design of it. Um, yeah. I'm definitely probably gonna get one, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not too much to say until it's in the game and I get better feedback on it. But I think it shows some promise. It's definitely a nice looking ship. Yep. So that does it for the ships. Nice. Um, yes. So a little recap: ships to buy, Talon for sure, Blade for sure, Meta and the car to all mm -hmm. um, and if you really want to you can't go wrong with either one of these uh the only one i don't yeah. recommend oh yeah you forgot the knot mm -hmm. and the prowler yeah yeah and that one yes it's always a yes where yeah, where are my bmm fans at type in the comments <laughs> if you have a bmm <laughs> if you want a bmm if you love the bmm type it in the comments <laughs> All right, now we go into the paints. Which one did you buy? I got all the Talon ones mm -hmm. uh, because I love the Talon. Oh, that skin um, for the Talon, the Harmony paint is beautiful. Also for the yeah. Garthu, oof, it looks so, so, so good. Yeah, I like this, yes. Mm -hmm. I, like, I really like the Banu one, like, yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, I love the Harmony paint. Yeah, uh, there's a pack. It doesn't show the pack here, but if you go to the pledge store and sort by paints, mm -hmm. they'll have a pack for the individual ships. Yeah. But yeah, these are really nice paints if you're into that. Um, if you're not, you know, teach their own. But I like them. They're nice. There's been worse. There's been better. Uh, these are definitely on the better side, I think. 
of paints. Yeah. Uh, more pricey, as you can tell, but <laughs> uh, up to you. You make your own financial decisions. I think I I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for the very bottom one. Oh. That one. Yeah. This. Bottom right. Oh, the alien complete pack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think, I think it, there's a better one. Hold on. I think oh. it's worth it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm adding it to cart right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think, thanks everyone for watching. Um, if you're wondering what ships are good for either PvE or PvP, we have two different videos of that, so check them out. And yeah, good luck. Please let us know in the comments which one you bought. Um, I think, um, like, I have eyes in the blade and the Garthu, for sure. And I already have a Talon, so... Yeah, let us know. Yes. Thank you, Pigeon. You're welcome.